Right, this is gonna show you how to do two by one digit multiplication problems. I'm gonna show you three methods, repeated addition, area model, and traditional method. So repeated addition for this problem. This problem right here says 42 times four, but, or 42 groups of, and I'll put of here, of four. Now, we could do 42 groups of four, but that would take us too long. So I'm gonna try backwards. Because of the commutative property of multiplication, I know this could be four groups of 42. So I'm gonna do four groups of 42. So one, two, three, four groups. So I've got four groups of 42 and I'm just going to add those because we learned that multiplication can also be seen as repeated addition. Then I use my skip counting 2, 4, 6, 8. This is an 8 and I use my skip counting of 4s. 4, 8, 12, 16 and I've got my answer. So I know 42 times 4 is also is equal to 168. Well, let's try a new method now. This is a fourth grade method. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take 42 and write it in expanded form. So I know 42 written expanded form is 40 plus two. And I'm gonna write four in expanded form. I know that's just four. Now, wherever I see a plus sign, I'm gonna write, make a line. So I'm gonna make a line right here. So now I have two boxes. So basically what I've done is I'm gonna solve this by doing two different problems, okay? So, and it's called partial products. So if I do this, so this length here is equal to four and this length here is equal to 40. So this is four, this is 40. So I write that four times 40, okay? And in this box here, this length here is equal to four. So I like to say this length here is equal to four. And this length here is equal to two. Okay. So now all I'm gonna do is figure out what these are. I know that four times four is 16, and then I just add a zero. And I know this is four times two, which I know is eight. So if I wrote that out, um, I would write it like this. So I first had four times 40. That's one box and I need to add to it the other box, which is four times two. Now I'm going to try to get rid of these parentheses. So four times four is 16 and I have one zero, like I said up here. Then I'm gonna put a plus sign and then I know four times two is eight. Well, this is I need to add these two together. Sometimes when I do this, I this is an easy one, but I always write it up and down because it's easier for me to solve. And I know the answer to this right here is 168. So this is a great way to check your work if you do two different methods. Now, the last method is a traditional method and it works on an algorithm. So I'm gonna write this. So here's the problem, 42 times four. I'm gonna write 42 times four. And in this method, what they do is they say, we're gonna start here and you're gonna multiply four times two first. So I draw a line to this. So I say, okay, four times two is eight. So I put that down. And now I'm finished with the ones place. Now I'm gonna to go to the tens place. Four times four is 16. And you can see why this is the traditional method. It's just an algorithm of how to do it, but we solved it way faster with this way than with either of these two. But these two are easier to understand, okay, visually. So let me do another problem. Okay, this one's a little harder. And again, we're gonna do the same thing. All right, so I'm gonna read this as four groups of 58. So I'm just gonna make four groups of 58. One, two, three, 
four groups. And I know it's repeated addition because um, multiplication also can be seen as repeated addition. And now I'm just going to use my skip counting songs and start in the ones house. 8, 16, 24, 32. I know it's 32, but I know I only can put one digit down in the ones place. So I put the ones place down, which is a two, and I carry the tens. So now I'm just going to use my skip counting songs, 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23. That's 23. There's no um, number in the hundreds place, so I'm just going to write 23. Okay. So I got 232 using repeated addition. That seemed like a cool way to do it. This problem's easy enough. Okay. Now here we're going to do it a little more advanced way, which is taking 58 and writing an expanded form. So that would be 50 plus 8. And then writing this number in expanded form would just be 4. Now wherever I see a plus sign, I just draw a line. And now I do the same thing. I say, okay, what's the length of this and the length of that? So this length here is 4 times this length here, which is 50. Okay. And then I do this length here which is equal to 4 again, times this length here, right here, which equals to 8. Now I'm going to figure out what each box is equal to. So 4 times 5 is 20, and then I have 1, 0. And then I do this one, 4 times 8 is 32. Now to write that like a partial product, you might not see the box sometimes, so that's why I like to rewrite it again. So I had 4 times 50 plus 4 times 8, because you might just see it written like this. So then I say 4 times 5 is 20, and I have 1, 0. There's my plus sign, and then I do this one. 4 times 8 is 32. So now the plus sign, the parentheses are gone, and now I just have to add these two together. If I want, I can write it up and down. And then I just get 232. So I got 232 as my answer, just like I did with repeated addition. Now let's try the traditional method. So here I have 58 times 4. And I put a dot and I go to the ones house first. Four times eight is 32. This is a two digit number, so the ones place goes down, the tens place goes up, and now I go here. Four times five is 20, 21, 22, 23. There's no hundreds place, so I'm just gonna drop both digits, and I get the same answer. Okay, last one. All right. By now you should know how to do this, so I'll probably give you some time to do this problem. And now I'm gonna start. For repeated addition, remember I could go this way or this way because of the commutative property, so I think I'm gonna go this way. So this is three groups of, three groups of 36. So I'm gonna do 36 three times. So one group, two groups, three groups, and then I'm going to add those together. I use my skip counting song, 6, 12, 18. That's a two-digit number, so I only could put one digit down, so the ones place goes down, the tens place has to go up, and then I use skip counting, 3, 6, 9, then I have 10. There's no hundreds place, so I'm just going to put 10 down there. And this is my answer for a repeated addition. Area model, remember I take the 36 and I write it in expanded form which is 30 plus 6. And then I write the 3 in expanded form. There's, It is in expanded form, basically. I write that, and then wherever I see a plus sign, I draw a line. Okay. So now I'm going to find the length of this side, which is 3. So I have 3 times this side, which is 30. Now I do this one. The length of this side is 3. And the length of this side here, just from here to here, is 6. 
Now I find out what they're equal to. So three times three is nine, and I have one zero, and three times six is 18, okay? So I'm gonna write it like a partial product. So I just write the parentheses, three times 30 plus three times six. I solve, three times three is nine. I get I have one zero plus three times six, which is 18. I add these, I like to kind of do this up and down. So I get eight and nine tenths. So I get 108. So 90 plus 18 is 108. Same answer. Last, traditional. So I write 36 times three. I put a dot and then I go to the ones place first. So three times six is 18. The ones place goes down, the tens place goes up. Now I go to the next column, three times three is nine, plus one more is 10. There's no hundreds place here, so I'm just gonna drop it and I get the same answer. So that's three different ways to do a two digit times and a two digit number by one digit number. I hope that helps.